given that you missed some time, um, how uh, pleased were you with the fact that you were able to be really sharp in terms of reads and timing? Um, you know, I, I was definitely pleased with, with the outcome, with, with the win. Uh, we played a great first half as an offense. Um, defense did what they needed to do. Whitey got some points up for us as well. Um, so, you know, it, it's always, it always feels good, you know what I'm saying, when, when you come off an injury and then you guys can still um, be clean in, in the operation. So uh, it was a total team effort and yeah, it felt good. Last time you played Saskatchewan, that was the game you got hurt. They brought a lot of pressure. Um, what do you see there so that there's not a repeat performance? Yeah, uh, they're they're really good, man. That defense is really good. And knowing what's going on on the offense side of the ball, we know that they know they have to step it up even more, you know, and that's a great defense. So um, I got to get the ball out of my hands. I got to um, be sharp in my reads, how I was this past week, and uh, just prepare all this week, one, one day at a time. When you lose a guy seemingly every week, like a different guy, is it hard to stay on the same page? Uh, not really because, you know, we've been working hard since training camp. Um, first group, second group, we have a lot of depth at receiver. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yes, we miss our, our guys, the, the starting five, but the guys behind them, man, they're, they're, they're total pros and uh, they're ready for any challenge. You were strong right from the hop, right from the jump. Was there a moment where you felt this could be a special game, a big time performance? Uh, no, not really, because you can't get too high or too low in a CFL game, man. The game's never over until that whistle's blown. So, um, you know, that's a good Calgary defense, a good team. So uh, I just didn't want to turn the ball over, which I had one interception there. But, you know, I just wanted to take care of the ball and score as many points as possible. And you put up points. Uh, what does it say about the offense, it, the way it's, it's gelling, it's clicking right now? Um, I think... Everyone knows we have a pretty good offense if, uh, you know, we're doing the right things. You know what I'm saying? We're all on the same page. Uh, O-line, running backs, quarterbacks, receivers. Um, I think we're pretty good. And um, we just, like I said, just got to do all the right things at the right time. Another big bounce back game as well for this team where it was a, a tough game and then you bounce back with a strong performance. What does that say about this PC Lions team? Just the grit that we have. You know, uh, we came out here first day. A few guys were a little sluggish, and uh, I think one of the guys broke it down. I think it was David Mackey, and he, he just said, uh, hey, man, flush it. Let's go to work. That's it. And we came out, and we had probably one of the best practice weeks we had all year, and um, it translated into the game. Emotional moments in the game as well, uh, a joyous moment, and you showed a lot of joy when Nathan Rourke's highlight was shown on the big screen. Uh, what was going through your head? How did that make you feel? Um, it was just a cool thing to see, you know what I'm saying? His first game in the NFL, uh, we all dream to play in the NFL growing up and uh, just to see him go out there and do what he was doing and uh, a tremendous play. Uh, we, you've seen all of our reaction, man, it, it was awesome. Can I just ask you? Uh, yeah, we texted a little bit and he just said uh, he was trying to bring out his inner VA a little bit, but uh, you know, that was a strong throw, him holding another dude up and, and making, I, I never did nothing like that. So uh, props to Nate for sure going to ask you that like not only did he, he had a guy hanging on to his legs like how, how hard is to, that to throw that ball that accurate with that kind of speed with the guy holding you around the ankles again I, I i probably did the run around stuff but i never did something like that you you, you have to have a strong core strong uh, lower half you know what i'm saying and uh he he demonstrated all that and a great throw as well one last thing you hatcher had a great game and and you guys together had a great game what was it? What was working for you, the two of you, in that game? So well. Uh, he had a great week. You know, uh, he had a lot of targets in practice last week. He didn't have any drops, and uh, I just knew that was gonna, you know, translate into the game. And uh, and I told him before. I said, hey, like on day four, I said, let's go get 150 and a couple touchdowns. So he got 150 plus, but one touchdown. So um, you know, I'm just so happy for him, man. He's a baller, hard worker, and uh, means a lot to this team. Time. When you when you have family in town, when players have family in town, is there a little bit extra juice in the body? Oh yeah, and I knew after I threw him that one deep post, and he's flexing, pointing at the at the crowd. I'm like, oh yeah, his moms must be here. So we always want to show out for moms, and uh, when the family is here. Um, so yeah, I'm glad he did that for them. Thank you. Thanks, guys. God bless. Go Lions.